I'm Rob Perry, the FlowPro designer and some man. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with a project in FlowPro Designer. When you open FlowPro Designer, you'll get a new white sheet like this one on the screen. So to begin drawing the walls, we take the mouse and left click here on the wall icon. And you'll notice that we get a red set of crosshairs with a pencil on the end of my cursor. Then you begin drawing by placing it on the two green crosshairs here. And this is just to help you keep everything uh, straight and parallel. Left click and release. And you notice you'll get a little box that will tell you how long the wall is. And as I pull it to the right, you can see it's snapping from one grid to the other. And let's go to 22 feet. You left click and release. You can begin drawing another wall down. So let's go down to 14 feet, click and release again, and pull a wall to the right. And you can see where we're going. We're gonna go back up and connect with that wall, click and release. We're following the lines up to keep it straight. And then watch what happens when I connect the two walls together in the middle of the room. I left click and release. And you can see that a heating and cooling load appears in the middle of the room. So the program is already uh, trying to figure out what the load is, what the heating and cooling load is. Now you'll notice that the wall is still attached to the red cursor. To disconnect from the wall, you right click once, and to disappear the red crosshairs and the pencil, you right click twice. Now I'm going to show you how to add the R values to the roof. Now a roof means, in Flow Pro Designer, the ceiling, the insulation above the ceiling, the sheeting, and the tile above the sheeting. So it includes everything that's above the room. So you double left click inside the project and that brings up the project property sheet for that room right here. We click on roof or floor. Then you move over to the right, left click on this drop down menu and you can select the type of roof that is most common for your project. Or you can add in the R values yourself by putting it here in the white box. Remember, anything in white, you can change or modify. And then push OK, and now you're done. That's it for now. Remember, you can get FlowPro Designer help on the FlowPro Designer support page, which is at the Taiko FlowPro website. You'll find a series of these short how-to videos plus tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts. You can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching, see you soon.